Sending the word of God Hiding him in my heart I got to keep him close to me So I'm singing the word of God Singing the word of God yeah. Hiding him in my heart I gotta keep his word close to me So I'm singing the word of God yeah. hey, Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time I ask you to lead me, guide me Tell me what to say, tell me what to sing Tell me what to do, God I know your people, they need to hear from you, oh God. There's somebody waiting for an answer from you. There's somebody who can't sleep tonight, oh God. Hallelujah. The enemy is buffeting them, Lord. I ask you, oh God, to help me help them, oh God, by your power and by your grace. I'm singing the word of God. Mm -hmm. I didn't get in all my heart. I want to be closer to you. I want to be close to you. I've got to be so close to you. I'm singing the word. I'm singing the word. Singing the word of God. Oh, yes. Jesus is alive, hallelujah, Jesus is alive, I, I can feel him in my hands, I, I feel him in my feet, yeah, I feel him all over me, hallelujah. is alive. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive. I feel him in my hands. I feel him in my feet. I feel him all over me. I just want to tell you you. I came to tell you that his love is true and nothing can separate you from his love. He loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus, he's alive, and he's living in me, he's alive, and he's living in you, yeah, he's alive, and he's living in you, and no matter what you're going through, He's there for you. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive. Grab a hold. Grab a hold of his mercy. Grab a hold. Grab a hold of his love. No matter what you do. Right there for you, my precious Jesus, uh, my precious Jesus, my precious 
Jesus is alive. He's alive. Hey, I'm on assignment. Yeah, I woke up out of my sleep and I was saying, Lord, what do you want me to do? Because he wants us to seek the kingdom. The kingdom is all around us. The kingdom is a very present commodity. Yes. It's all those hurting people. People suffering with insomnia, can't sleep. People with the spirit of suicide is threatening them. The spirit of lack and the spirit of need and the spirit of want and the spirit of greed. Oh, the spirits are all around us. So we got to gird up our loins because the enemy wants to sift us like wheat. He's a liar and the truth is not in him. Oh, he's a liar and the truth is not in him. Oh, he comes to steal. Kill and destroy like a thief in the night. That's why I got up and I said, I'm going to sing some praises. Because there's somebody here tonight, this morning, wherever your location is, mountain time, you know, whatever. God has no respect of time. He is where you need him, when you need him, and how you need him. That is why he says, I am. <laughs> I am that I am. Jehovah Jireh. I am that I am. I supply all your needs. Whatever you need me to be. I am right here for you. So look, come on up out of those doldrums. Come on out of those sorrows. Come on out and remember that God is able. He is able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that you think or even ask. He said, I has not seen, ears have not heard, nor has it entered into the hearts of men what he has prepared for you. So wake up and receive the gift. Hey, he said he supplies new mercies. When you woke up this morning, you had new mercies that are waiting for you. God has something for you to do today. So he wants you to come on in and help him help somebody today. Come on now, put a smile on your face. It's not bad. Hey, because God's got it. I don't care. Whatever it is, you may even be suffering. Hey, from COVID, you may be uh, you may be suffering from lack. You may be suffering because you're thick. You can't sleep because you have bills to pay. You have things that are due. You've had a da- a bad doctor's report. It doesn't matter what it is. God is able. Hey, just believe Him and receive Him. Hey, um, hey, and don't worry. If you got COVID, remember I said you told you the other day, yeah, my God is bigger than COVID. My God is bigger than COVID. My God is bigger than COVID-19. Oh, my God is bigger than COVID. My God is bigger than COVID. I came to bring you some joy this morning because I'm, you know, I just feel it in my spirit that people are so depressed, worrying about, you know, <laughs> you know, the acronym FEAR, F E A R, false evidence of appearing real. Sometimes we worry about things that are going to happen and it never happens. We worry about, see, the enemy wants you to worry. He wants you to. Th- 
to think he wants you to borrow problems from tomorrow. Jesus said, take no thought of tomorrow because tomorrow is going to take care of itself. Come on, y'all. Read the word. Get in the word and know what the word says. The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. That's why I sing it. <laughs> That's why I sing it, because the word of God has brought me through many trials, dangers. Hey, working, Jesus is working. Jesus is working. Jesus is working. I know that all things are working together for good to them who love the Lord. Come on, y'all. All things are working together for good when you stand on his word. When trials come your way, hold your head up high and say, All things are working together for good to them who love the Lord. trials come your way. Hold your head up high and say, all things are working together for good to them who love the Lord. Every trial is working, tribulations he is working, persecutions he is working. Tell the devil all things are working together for good to them who love the Lord. Hey, hey, hey. All things are working together for good when you're standing on his word. Whenever troubles come your way, hold your head up high and say, Woo! Yes! All oh, the joy of the Lord is our strength. That's right. Hey, and guess what? You know, people take that scripture. You got to really, really think about the word. Don't just say cliches. Think about what the word is saying. It says the joy of the Lord is my strength. That has two meanings. The joy of the Lord gives me strength. Yes. And it makes God joyful when you are strong. So it says that when you are strong, he is joyful. All things are working together. Woo! God's love is great. You know, his word is great. So when you study the word, you look for the obvious and you look for the implied. Because many things are implied that are not written. When, for instance, when he says... My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. That's right. And everybody thinks, yes, our God, God is going to supply all my needs. I ain't going to have to worry about nothing. But there's another flip side. What if you need to be corrected? What if you need to be chastened? What if he needs to do something that's not so pleasant? Your need is for him to take you through something to teach you something. Hey, think about it, think about it. Think about it, think about it. Think about what the word is saying to you, the, the hidden message. You know, God plays an awesome game of hide and seek. Sometimes he hides things to provoke us to search. Search the scriptures. See what they're saying to you. It's not always what it looks like. Hmm. For instance, when he says, I have been young, but now I'm old, and I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. And we say, oh, he's going to supply all our needs. Oh, he's a, it, it could also mean 
that David, if you know David, David loved God's people, and he didn't like to see them suffer. There were many times in the scripture when he went out of his way to bless people. Like in the case of Mephibosheth, he went out of his way. So that scripture could also mean the scripture that says, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. That could also mean that whenever I saw someone in need, I gave. I didn't see the righteous forsaken. Whenever it was in my power to do something, I did it. So think about it, think about it. Think about it, think about it. What are the words saying? No, you know that we here in the western part of the world, we have all selfish connotations. Everything is about me, my, my, my for no more. But that's not God. <laughs> oh, he's always reaching out. Listen, we got to learn how to reach out. And that's, I think that's why we're going to go through a great persecution because God is going to teach us to lean on each other and need each other. Listen, oh, yes, God is love, faithful and true. Oh, how he loves me and you, although he's saddened by the terrible things we do. But he's a God that forgives, and so we have the right to live. Yes, God is love, and Oh, how he loves me and you. God is love. Oh, my God is love. God is so good. He is so good. He's long-suffering. Listen, we got to be like him. That's what the whole transformation. Hey, Paul said in Romans 12, 1, 2, and 3. I beseech you, brothers, by the mercy of God. Hey, hey. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So then you'll know what the acceptable, good, perfect will of God. I'm saying the word. Singing, singing, singing. Right now as we sing, as we praise, as we worship, somebody's just contemplating suicide. But I come against that spirit of suicide. I bind it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, you cannot have that life. Right, right now, somebody is, some child is being molested right now as we sing. Listen, there's a whole lot of need for prayer. We got to wake up in the midnight hour. We got to do no, it's in the morning time. It's when the, the enemy is a punk and he comes when we're sleeping and he comes when we're unaware and that's why we got to be up at all hours. We got to uh, be vigil and be sober. Because the enemy like a roaring lion goes around. Uh, seeking who he, who he can devour. That's the word. That's the word. loves us. He loves me. He loves you. Yes, he does. Jesus loves me. And if you should ask me how I know, because the Bible tells me so. And he sent his son to show how much he loves me. Oh, Jesus loves me. Guess what? He 
has a job for you to do. You have an assignment. You haven't been born just to be born or just to be beautiful or just to be, uh, you know, whatever you think. God has a plan for your life. And he's waiting for you to wake up and say, Father, I yield. What would you have me to do? It may be big. It may be little. It may be conspicuous. It may be incognito. But he's got a plan for everybody. Part he's got a plan. You know, Jeremiah said, so, you know, I'm just a little child. I can't. You know, God said, before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Come on, y'all. That means we were someplace else before we came to our mother's womb. We were somewhere else. We were in the mind and in the plan of God. He has a big plan for you. I don't care what you color you are. I don't care what socioeconomics you experience. I don't care. He had you on his mind when he went to the tree. Hey, hey. My father was bruised for my iniquities. Yeah. And he did not die. Well, I meant to say, now let me correct that. Jesus was bruised, not my father. Jesus was bruised for my iniquity. He did not die. But to set me free, he who knew no sin was made sin for me. He had me on his mind. He had me on his mind. When he went to the tree, my Savior was bruised for my iniquity. He did not die, no, no, but for to set me free. He, he knew no sin, made sin for me. He had me on his mind. Yes, he did. They nailed him in his hands, they nailed him in his feet, he pierced him in his side, he hung his head and died. They nailed him in his hand, nailed him in his feet, pierced him in his side, hung his head and died. They nailed him in his hand, nailed him in his feet, pierced him in his side, hung his head and died. They nailed him in his hand, nailed him in his feet, pierced him in his side. He did not die. But for to set me free, he who knew no sin was made sin for me. He had me on his mind. Oh, they nailed him in his hand, nailed him in his feet. <laughs> he got the victory. <laughs> they nailed him in his hand. Hey, hey, but that's not how the story ends. Said, that's not how the story ends. In three days he rose again. In three days he he rose again. Woo! Yeah, hey. Hey, this is so it's late at night and I got neighbors, so I gotta quiet it down a little bit. Hey, hey, he did not die. Why did he die? He didn't die for what he did. He died to set me free. Set me free. And whom the son has set free is free indeed. Yeah. He who knew no sin. He who knew no sin. He who knew no sin was made sin for me. He had me on his mind. I said he had me on his mind. He had me on. Let me tell you something. Jesus is always mindful of you. Even sometimes you think he doesn't hear you when you pray. Oh, yes, he does. Mm -hmm. He hears your cry. He hears your cry. But you have to be patient and he wants to prove. You have to prove.
that he can trust you with his things. Why would he give the enemy his things? No, why would he give the enemy his secrets? Why would he let the enemy come on the inside in the secret place? No, you have to prove that he can trust you with his valuables. Hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. I praise you. Hallelujah. Hey, they that wait upon the Lord, yeah, uh, 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 shall renew their strength. They that wait upon the Lord, uh, 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 shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, uh, mount up with wings as eagles. They shall renew their strength. They that wait upon the Lord. Oh, they that wait upon the Lord. I see cream corn. Do they say, they that wait upon the Lord. Uh-uh, that uh, renew their strength. They shall mount up the speaker. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall renew their strength. They that wait upon the Lord. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and never faint. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and speak. Uh, hello, uh, the youth shall faint and be weary. Uh, the young. Okay. You guys got some weird names. I can't even pronounce them. I said the young shall faint and be weary, uh, and the youth shall not totally fall. They shall renew their strength, they that wait upon the Lord. That's coming from Isaiah, the 40th chapter. You know what? We are eagles. Some of us are baby eagles. Some of us are mature eagles. And eagles... We warn you, don't hang around with turkeys, because you'll never learn to fly. You'll never learn, you'll never learn to fly. Hey, uh, blessings, thank you so much. God is good, glory, glory, God is good all the time, and he's a friend of I came to bring you joy this morning. Weeping may and do for a night, but joy, joy comes in the morning light. You don't have to worry, you don't have to fret, because God never failed you. I don't like to say yet, because he ain't going to never fail you. He's on time, God, all the time. Glory, glory, hallelujah, yes, glory, glory. I came to tell you, I came to remind you in the middle of the night, God never sleeps, he never slumbers, he's waiting on you, to do what you go, what you gotta do, he's waiting on you, hey, sometimes we waiting on God, but he's waiting on you, hey, hey, I'm trying to read these names, Yes, yeah, no matter what's going on in this world, let me tell you, nothing is hard, nothing, so when the devil comes in your face, you say, what, you say, what, who you think you're talking to, do you know who you're talking to, you're talking to a king's kid, yeah. Tell me what my God can do. You're talking to a king's kid, yeah. I am a king's kid, yeah. Uh, talking to a king's kid, yeah. So don't tell me what my God can do. He turned that water into wine. Gave sight to the blind. Cause the lame man to walk. And that dumb man to talk. Sight 
right to the blind. He calls a lame man to walk and he calls that dumb man to talk. So don't you tell me what my God can't do. Do you know who you're talking to? Hey, don't tell me what my God can't do. Do you know who you're talking to? You're talking to a king scared, yeah. A king scared, yeah. Ooh. And I know what my God can do. I know what my God can do. Uh, if you don't know, uh, you better ask somebody. Hey, if you don't know, you don't know. You better ask somebody. He turned water into wine. Uh, he gave sight to the blind. Uh, One thousand folks he fed. He even raised people from the dead. Hey, uh, talking about the God. Talking about my Jesus. Come on, lift him up. He said, if I be lifted up. Don't listen. When you open your mouth, say something positive. Don't be talking about, I'm sick. I don't feel good. I ain't going to make it. I'm just so this. I... He said that the devil will come and say, okay, okay, that's what you want. That's what you want. You could have it. No, speak those things that are not as though they are. Speak positive. Speak life because there is the power of death and life in your tongue. And you will have what you say. I feel like jumping up right now and shouting. Hallelujah. Yes. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, if we would just obey what he said. If we would just do what he said, if my people would just call by my name, humble themselves and pray and seek my face, yeah, turn from their wicked ways. Uh, if my people would just call by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, uh, turn from their wicked ways. I love you. Ah, thank you so much. Ah. Then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Yeah. And I will heal their land. Hey, Kathy, heal their land and I will heal their land. Hey, with calamities and catastrophes ever present in our lives. Men of high degrees and those philosophies are falling short of their advice. But if the truth be heard within God's word, he speaks it loud and clear. The remedy, remedy, remedy for you and me, if we would only hear. With catastrophes and calamities ever present in our life. Men of high degrees with their philosophies are falling short with their advice. If the truth be heard within God's word, he speaks it loud and clear. And the remedy for you and me, if we would only hear. We don't want to hear because it's too easy. Hey, oh, if my people would you call by my name, Humble themselves and pray and seek my face, yeah. Turn from their wicked ways. Hey, 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 hey. if my people would you call by my name, humble themselves and pray and seek my face, oh God, oh God. Turn from their wicked ways. Come on, what will happen? He said, you know, this thing, he says, if you do this, there's a lot of times in the Bible it says if. They're contingent upon your obedience. Hey, then will I hear from heaven and then I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land, heal their land, heal their land, heal their land. Heal their land. I, I will heal their land. And he's faithful. 
just to do just what he say. He's faithful and just to do just what he say. Uh, if we would obey, he show us the way. Cause he's faithful and just to do just what he said. He just made that one up. Impromptu. God, the Holy Spirit feeds me. I'm, I'm no, I'm not kidding you. The Holy Spirit feeds me. He downloads it in my spirit and I give it to you. It's sometimes it loses a little bit in the translation because of my imperfections. But anyhow, may I take a sip of water? Thank you. The other day I got on here and I didn't have any water. Whew, and I felt like I was choking. So I came prepared. God, you know, when God woke me up about maybe about 12 o'clock and I was saying, Lord, what do you want me to do today? What do you want me to do? How do you want me to seek the kingdom? What is it? Because I don't want to do anything on my own. So I may be on here at midnight. I may be on here in the day. I might make videos during the day. I don't know. Because I want to be led by his spirit. Hey, Lord Jesus. Because God has been good to me. Just can't tell it all. Just can't tell it all. If I had a thousand tongues, Ooh. ten thousand tongues, I could not tell it all. Come on, Holy Spirit, feed me, feed me, ha! Huh? If I, if I, if I, if I had ten thousand tongues, I could not tell. All of the things he's done for me. Hey, in my darkest, darkest hour, he comes and brings me mighty power. I cannot tell it all if I had 10,000 tongues. If I had 10,000 tongues, I could not tell it all. How he catches me, catches me every time I try to fall. Hey, he picks me up, turns me around, places my feet on top the ground. If I had 10,000, had 10,000 tongues. I could not tell it. Let me tell you a secret. If I don't get up from here and record that, record those words, I'll forget about it. I'll forget them. But I, I just got them. So that's the way it works. So I'm letting you in on how God sings to me. So I can sing to you. It's nothing that I do. It's no righteousness of my own. It's no goodness of my own. Because I'm a wretch. London. Yes, I'm a wretched woman. But he loves me anyway. He uses me every day. Mm. And he says, come unto me all your labor. Anybody out there need rest tonight? Take my yoke upon me and learn of me. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Oh, for so long I have been waiting. 
telling some of you, God has been waiting on you a long time to dry your tears away. So kind and leave in your heart and confess with your mouth I have washed all your sin, yeah. I've washed every one of your sins, yeah, yeah. I've washed all your sins away. Okay, I'm going to read this name. Let me get this right. This, this is, I know, this is one of my followers. It's Linda. Linda, that's good enough. I have washed all your sins, yeah. I washed all your sins, yeah, yeah. I washed all your sins away. I washed your sins away. See that pretty face. I can't see the name. Lovely. Hey, I see you. I'm looking at you. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you for joining me. Hallelujah. 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 Every one of you is precious, and God calls you the apple of his eye. He says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. There's not one of you out there who can hear the sound of my voice, who God doesn't love, who God doesn't know. He's tracking you. He knows everything you say, everything you do, and you have to give an answer for every idle word you say. Hey, each lying wonder will be exposed at the end of the day. And, and it doesn't really matter if your lie is big or small. You have to give an answer for it all. Don't think that God don't hear you. Let's just get it right. Hey, everything you do in darkness will come to the light, and there'll be no denying, hey, that all of you who are lying, you have to give an answer for every idle word you say, I said, yeah, you have to give an answer for every idle word say each lying wonder will be exposed in the end of the day and it doesn't really matter if the lie is big or small you have to give an answer for them all oh, oh, oh. don't think that he don't hear you Let's just get it right. Hey, uh, everything you do in darkness will come to the light. And there'll be no denying, heart. Uh, honey girl, you are lying. Yeah, yeah. You have to give an answer, yeah. You have to give an answer. You have to give an answer for every idle word, every idle word, you say, you know, I had an old adage when I was a little kid, they used to say, think before you speak, that's what we better do, we better think before we speak, because if you speak in idle words, you don't have to give an answer for that, you have to speak positive, you have to speak meaningful, you have to tell the truth, tell the truth. Tell the truth, tell, 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 and 
encourage somebody, love somebody, help somebody. And idle words are words that just go out into the atmosphere and do nothing, just hang around and do nothing. You don't want to do that. Hey, think before you speak. Uh, when you you have what you say, if you say I'm sick, you're going to get sick. If you say I have nothing, you ain't going to have nothing. Hey, come on now. I'm a king's kid and I have what he wants me to have. I'm a king's kid and I have what he wants me to have. I'm not just asking for blessings. I'm walking in my inheritance. My fame, my, my father is rich in houses and land. He holds the wealth of the world in the hand. Everything is at his command. He's awesome. Let me say that again. My father is rich in houses and land. He holds the wealth of the world in his hand. Everything is at his command. He's awesome. The winds and the waves that obey his voice, they've got to obey because there's no other choice. He has the creation in his hand before it began. Jesus, the day will arrive. All men will see and everyone will confess on bended knee. Jesus is Lord. The whole world will see he's awesome. I say that he's awesome. Awesome. He's awesome. You better be ready. I heard it said. It's coming again. You better be ready. You better be ready. house, this house. Get your house in order. There's a place for everything and everything is in its place. Hey, keep your house in order. Don't let anybody mess up your space. Ooh. Are you ready for the rapture? left behind. Are you ready for the rapture? La, 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 la. Make up your mind. I heard the Lord is coming like a thief in the night and you won't be going if your heart's not right. So get ready, get ready for the rapture. Don't be left behind. Yeah, yeah. Getting ready for the rapture. Don't be left I'm getting ready for the rapture. I'm gonna make, I've already made up my mind. Hey, he's coming like a thief in the night. And you won't be going if your heart's not right. Get ready for the rapture. Don't be left behind. Oh, hey, John said in his gospel, he went to prepare me a place. So I put away every weight and sin and come prepare to run this race. I want to be ready when my Savior comes. I want to hear him say, my servant well done. I'm getting ready for the rapture. Hey, I don't want to be left behind. Are you ready? is 
coming like a thief in the night. And you won't be ready. You're going to be like those five foolish virgins? Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Can't get in after the door is shut. Hey, uh, you won't be going if your heart's not right. So get ready for the ride. Uh, don't be left behind. Well, some people say it's a, a post-trib. That means after the tribulation. Or a pre-trib means before the tribulation. Or a mid-trib mean during the tribulation. I used to think, I really used to think it was going to be a pre-trib, that we were going to be gone when the rapture came. But now I'm beginning to think, because we have been disobedient and we have to be reproved, that we're going to be here for the first half of the rapture. So that's mid-trib. But you know, whatever, we got to gird up our loins. I see the empty shelves in the, in the supermarkets, and I hear about so many things going on. We gotta, we gotta go through a tribulation. We, he gotta prove us. He gotta go through the fire. Hey, are you ready to go through the fire? Are you ready? 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 We're gonna have to learn to love each other. We're gonna have to love, learn to love our brother. It doesn't matter what color, it doesn't matter what race, it doesn't matter what they own. We have to learn to love, and that's the whole premise of God. He is love. You know, they said in Matthew, the seventh chapter, it says that when God, he says, everyone that says, Lord, Lord, shall not enter. And people are going to say, but Lord, didn't we heal the sick? Lord, didn't we cast out demons? Lord, didn't we prophesy? Lord, didn't we preach? Lord, didn't we go on TikTok and Instagram and all those places and we warned the people? He says, he'll say, depart from me because I never knew you. What? You mean I did all of that? and I was an usher. I, was, I sang in the choir. What? He said, depart. I said, Only the pure in heart shall see God. Only the pure in heart shall see God. Make me pure, make me clean. This is what I ask, what I ask. Of you, cause only the pure in heart shall see God. If your heart isn't right, he said, Though I speak with the tongues of men and angels, whoo, and have not love, hmm, though I give my body to be burned, and I have, have love, hmm. It doesn't matter what a ministry you have. It doesn't matter what a vast ministry you have, how many followers you have. You can have thousands and of, uh, millions of followers. But if your heart is not right, he'll say, depart from me. I never knew you. You didn't love. You didn't love. It wasn't. In, it wasn't. Mm. Beauty is only skin deep. Mm. But see, the word of God cuts to the bone. The very marrow, it separates the marrow from the bone. Ooh, he cuts deep. He cuts deep. Deep, 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 deep down in your soul. And he knows who belongs to him. Hey, you might preach like Paul, sing like Peter, prophesy like Elijah. But if you don't have love, you don't have love, you don't qualify. Woo, God! 
never, 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 never qualify. Yes, God is love. He's love, and he he wants us to love. That's a prerequisite. You gotta love. We gotta. You gotta love him. I don't care. You first of all, you gotta forgive. You got to get rid of that spirit of unforgiveness because it's like cancer. It's a canker worm. Mm, It's a thief. Hallelujah. My time is winding down. And I I just want to pray for somebody right now who's contemplating suicide. You know, this is a mid, uh, an hour when the demons are raging. Hey, they wait for the darkness. They hide in the darkness. Not just the sun, but the, the darkness in your mind. The darkness that tells you you're no good, that tells you you'll never be any good. The darkness that's left there from your molestation, the darkness that's left there from your hurt, the darkness that's left there from your rejection and your abuse, this darkness. You must be healed. You must be delivered. Hallelujah. Confess. Open up your hearts. Let the Lord come in. And clean you. Sweep your house clean. And not only that, after you do that, fill it. Fill it with the things of God. Fill it with the Spirit of God. Fill it with love. Fill it with the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace. Hey, righteousness. All of those things. That fill it up. Fill it up. Don't leave no room for the enemy. No vacancy here. Hey, I may not be able to forget what you did to me. And I may not make you my best friend. But I'm going to forgive you. Yes. Because it's for my own good that I forgive you. Yes, come on, folks. You can't drink poison and expect everybody else to die. Come on, y'all. Get it together. Get it together. The devil is a liar. He's headed for the fire. I said the devil is a liar. He's headed for the fire. And another thing I want to tell you, God hates pride. You say, oh, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of my son. I'm so proud of my daughter. I'm so proud of myself. Tell me where you ever saw in the scriptures uh, where God said he was proud of something. It's not there. When he spoke about Jesus, he said, this is my beloved son of whom I am. Pleased. God hates pride. gives grace. He loves humility. Humble, being humble. You say humble is weak? No, 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 no. Humble is power under control. Like when Jesus was on the cross and he was dying and he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. That's humble. Come on, y'all. Get it together. Get it together. Come out of darkness. I know I used to walk in the darkness, had no self esteem. That was then, this is now. There's been a change. Broken hearted, uh-uh. living in my 
sin. <clears throat> then the Holy Spirit drew me in. He gave me a brand new walk. Uh, gave me a brand new talk. And I'll never, ever, never, ever be the same again. No, 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 no. Cause I'm a new creation. A holy generation. Standing on the promises of God. You know, my life has really changed. And I'll never, ever be the same. You can do it too. Since Jesus made his home in my heart. Hey, Jesus made a change in my life. Oh, Jesus made a change in my life. He brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light, Jesus. Oh, precious Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, he made a change in my life. Made a change in my life. Change in my life, yeah. You know, it's no excuse. You know, I was just thinking in my mind of one of prejudice. I used to be very, very prejudiced against Caucasians. Because when I thought back of what that my people suffered, how they did, they used our, new, our babies, our newborn babies as gator bait. That's what that word means. They used to put them in the river and let the alligators eat them. Oh, God, I had a problem. But I know I want to be like Jesus. And I had to forgive. And so now he's teaching me. He's leading me. Showing me what's right. Showing me what's wrong. And each new tribulation only makes me strong. I've been born again. Born of his spirit. Washed in his blood. And now he's teaching me how to love. With love and kindness, uh, your fashion display into your likeness. You never threw me away. You are the potter, yes, yes. I am the clay. Make me and mold me. Have thine own way with love and kindness. You fashion this clay into your likeness. You could have thrown me away. You are the potter, yeah. I am the clay. Make me and Have thine own way. You came to my rescue. And you made me see. Come on, y'all. There's a vessel of honor. You should come to be. Your goodness and mercy. Now follows me. Filled with your spirit, yeah, yeah. So I'll go where you lead. Yeah, with love and kindness, you fashion this clay into your likeness. You could have thrown me away. Yeah, you are the potter, yes. 
I am the clay. Make me and mold me. Uh, have thine own way. Uh, uh. You're Messiah, Master, Redeemer, and Friend. Crown King of Glory, beginning and end. You are my loving Savior. You gave your life for me. My precious Jesus, yeah. My precious Jesus, woo. You are so precious forever you you forever you be forever you be forever you be hallelujah hallelujah praise your name lord you're worthy 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 to be praised hey i'm singing the word of Gotta go, gotta go, hiding it in my heart. Uh, I don't want to sing against you, so I'm hiding the word of God. I keep on singing the word of God. This is Elder Marge, uh, hiding it in my heart. Hey, uh, I don't want to ever sin against you. I don't want to ever embarrass you. I don't ever want to give somebody the cause, the cause to blaspheme against you. I got to do my part. Yeah. I got to do my part. So I'm hiding the word. I'm hiding the word. I'm hiding the word in my heart. I have it. Psalms 119 and 11. I want you guys to listen for the scriptures. Write them down. They don't have to be verbatim. They don't be, have to be thus saith the Lord. But talk about the scripture that you heard in the song. Hey. Yeah. Like this song. There's a problem in your life. And it's worrying your mind How the problem seems to grow It keeps getting bigger all the time Just believe the word of God Says exactly what to do Casting all your cares upon him da, 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 da. Jesus cares for you Oh, 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 oh there is something to be done And it must be done today So you get an early start, but there's a giant in your way. Just keep saying in your heart, listen, the greater ones in you, casting all you can upon him. Jesus cares for you. Here comes another scripture coming at you. Oh, 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 lean not to thine own understanding. Hey, trust God with all your heart. Come on. Hey, acknowledge him in everything you do. Come on, that's the scripture. 
Give him the first place in your heart. Come on, here's another one. If you're abiding in his word, uh, and his word abides in you, uh, there is nothing you can't ask that the Savior wouldn't do. But you must believe his word. Every word is trusting all your cares upon him. Da 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 da. Casting all your cares upon him. Da 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 da. da. Casting all your cares on him. Jesus cares for you. Jesus cares for you. Jesus cares for you. Jesus cares for you. Glory to God, he cares for me. I say he cares for me. He can't give a leg cares for me. He can't give a leg. Come on, here's a little Caribbean, a little Caribbean. Uh. He said he cares for me. He just really cares for me. He can't give a leg cares for me. He really cares for me. I'm his special child. I'm the apple of his eye. Yeah. He's get. He's got me on the palm of his hand. Come on, read the word and see what God thinks about you. You don't have to worry about what other people say about you or what they think. <laughs> That's a big joke. What do I care what you think about me? All I care is what God says. All I care about is what God says. All I care about is what God says, not what you think of me. All I care about is what God says. All I care about is what God says. All I care about is what God says, not what you think of me. Uh, what you think doesn't matter. What you think doesn't matter. It's what Jesus thinks. What Jesus says about me. He says I'm the apple of his eye. I don't really care. Woo! I want you to think nice things about me, but if you care not to think, that's all right. That's your problem. That's not mine. Mm -hmm. I'm a royal priesthood. I'm a chosen generation. I'm a holy nation. I'm a peculiar people. Here set apart, set apart, set apart for God. That's who I am. That's who I am. I am. I'm a little I am. I am that I am, what God says I am. Woo! Come on, get your, get your head up, hold your head up. And go on into the morrow with confidence that he, he's going to work it out. I don't have any doubt. He's going to work it out. Come on, come on. See, that's the only thing about it. Once I start singing, I don't know how to stop. Hey, 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 cause God keeps feeding me from on high. He keeps feeding me from on high. Come on, come on, come on, he, come, come on, feed me till I walk no more. Feed me till I walk. I gotta go. Like they used to say in my party days. <laughs> You don't have to go home, but you got to leave here. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I had some party days. I wasn't always a holy woman of God. No, I wasn't. I was trampling on his mercies. Didn't know how to pray. Didn't know what to say. Oh, but, but God stepped right in. Woo! My God, he stepped right into my mess. Stepped right into my mess and he blessed. Hey, woo! God is good. God is good all the time and all the time. I gotta go. I gotta go. Woo! Listen, I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Just thank you. I can never express how much I appreciate you. If I just on and on and on and on, I'm going to tell you how much I appreciate your comments, 
how you're looking at my videos. I, look, it took me two weeks to go from 100 followers to 1,300. Two weeks! And I'm so grateful. Not for any works that I have done. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. That's another song. <laughs> and if I start talking about it, I'm going to start singing. By the grace of God, I am what I am today. Woo! I must be what the Savior wants me to be. I yield my will. I yield my will to God's more perfect way. And to the plan he has Predestinated, that is 1 Corinthians, or is it 2 Corinthians, the 10th chapter. I am but by the grace of God. Look it up. Go to your go to your concordances. Look up these words because this ministry is strengthening my uh, knowledge of the word. And I hope that it will strengthen your knowledge of the word. One more song. The close, the more that I learn, the more I need to know. It's food for my spirit, and it keeps my lamp aglow. Lifting up his name while I'm standing on the claim. Happiness is learning about the Lord. I said the more that I learn, the more I need to know. It's food for my spirit and it keeps my lamp aglow. I'm lifting up his name while I'm standing on the claim. Happiness is learning about the Lord. Now, here come some scriptures at you. John 3.16 says it all for me. God sent his only son for my life eternally. My sins were washed away when he died for me that day. Oh. Happiness is learning about the Lord. He went to the Father to prepare a place for me. He said that where he is, I shall also be. He's coming back again to take me home with me. Him happiness is learning about the Lord. Ah, the more that I learn, or oh, the more I need to know. It's food, food for my spirit, and it keeps my light aglow. I'm lifting up his name. While standing on the claim, happiness is learning about the Lord. That scripture, ah, uh, First Thessalonians 4.16 says he's coming back on a cloud. The dead in Christ shall rise when they hear his trumpet loud. He's coming on that day. To take his church away. Oh, happiness is learning about. Happiness is learning about. Happiness is learning about the Lord. Somebody said I made them happy. Praise God. That's, that's what I'm about. I want you to realize that you're a child of God. That he loves you. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how you were born. It doesn't matter if you're an atheist, if you're a non-believer, if you're a Muslim. It doesn't matter. God is no respect of person. He 
loves you. And he wants you to come on home just like the prodigal son. Come on. Come on back to Jesus. Come on. He's waiting for you. He is not. He's like he left the 99 for the one. He's waiting for you. He has a job for you to do. There's a missing place in the body. There's a missing member of the body when you are not here. Come on back. Hey, come on home. Well, I just have to say, it's now almost mm, three o'clock. No, yeah. I just have to say, God bless you. I don't know when I'll be back. Whenever the Spirit leads. Hey, when the Spirit says sing, I gotta sing. Yes. Thank you. I'm so glad I made you happy. Hey, thanks. It was the grace of God. Is the grace of God. That a hey, it's my it's my pleasure. It's my duty. I have nothing. He says, present your body a living sacrifice. He didn't tell you how to do it, but he just said, do it. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're so welcome. Hallelujah. I pray that you will have a beautiful day tomorrow. Don't take the worries of to, tonight over into the tomorrow. Have a, a fresh I'll be singing the word of God, hiding it in my heart. I don't want to sin against him. I'm singing the word of God, singing the word of God, hiding him in my heart. I don't want to sin against him. I'm singing the word of God. Singing the word of God, hiding the word in my heart. Oh, God, hallelujah. Blackhead? Blockhead? You know, you guys have such crazy names. I'm getting used to this TikTok. I got to get used to it. There's a whole lot of things on here I don't agree with, but it ain't my business. I just have to do what God tells me to do. He didn't make me judge. He didn't tell me to judge anybody. He didn't tell me to debate with somebody's religion. He didn't tell me to do any of that thing. He told me to sing the word of God, and that's what I'm about. Hey, yes, yes, I'm just singing the word of God. I'm not trying to be nobody's judge. I'm not trying to be, I ain't got no heaven. I ain't got no hell to put nobody in. I'm just minding my business. Hey! And that's the business of God. You remember when Jesus was a little boy and he was 12 years old and he left his mother left him behind and he was in the temple teaching. And she went looking for him and he said, wouldn't you know I would be about my father's business? I'm about my father's business and I am. Yeah, I'm about my father's business, about my father's business. And so I'm not judging you. I have not, you, you know, but by the grace of God goes I. The worst serial killer, by the grace of God, goes I. The biggest fornicator, by the grace of God, but goes I. But by the grace of God, goes I. The biggest whoremonger, the biggest womanizer, but by the grace of God, goes I. The biggest liar, but by the hey, rubber, rubber, say, rubber, rubber, but by the grace of God. So I'm not walking in judgment of you. I'm not sitting in judgment of you. I came here to do one thing, and that was to sing in the word of God. Yeah. Hiding it in my heart. I don't want to sin. I don't want to sin. I don't want to sin against him. Uh, so I'm singing the word of God. Sing. Good day tomorrow. Make somebody smile. Make somebody. <laughs> Are you Aunt Jemima? What does that mean? I don't know. Whatever. What are you or whatever. You know, I'm like Paul. I'll be what you want me to be. <laughs> For the sake of the gospel. That's all right. Let's see. What else? What else are they saying? Thank somebody says thank you. Thank you too. It was my pleasure. It was my pleasure. Good night. It was my pleasure.
just to be here with you today, tonight, whatever it is. God is not sleeping. God never slumbers asleep, so he doesn't have a day or a night. So I guess I don't have a day or a night either. <laughs> so let's see. It says, good morning. Yeah, okay, that put me on cue. You are on my PYP. Wishes. Okay, best wishes. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much. You're on my so what? TYP. I don't know what that is. Okay. So one day I'm going to talk about myself. I'll tell you who I am. How Maybe one day I'll tell you how old I am. Maybe you can guess. Maybe you can guess how old I am. I just want everybody to know that I'm not looking to date. I'm not looking to marry. I'm not looking for a spouse. I love my life the way it is. I can give all my time to God. I can't. I don't compromise my time. It all belongs to God. Hey, glory to God. So I'm telling you, I don't spend my time on messaging and on WhatsApp, and I don't spend my time on Instagram. This is my platform right here, and this I'm doing the will of God and the work of God, winning souls for the kingdom, influencing people to follow Christ because he is the way, he is the truth and the life. That's another song. I just, so I'm not going to sing it. But have a good night. Be fruitful and multiply. It doesn't necessarily mean have babies. It means be fruitful. Hey, the host is inviting you to, I don't know. I'm getting ready to, I'm not going nowhere else. Have your way, Lord. I thank you and I give you praise for what you have done, for what you have accomplished in me. Through me, all the glory, all the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. That's not my song, and there are so many songs that I would love to sing, but God told me to sing the original, so I have to be obedient. But all the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this time that I have spent with your wonderful people. Hallelujah. Thank you, B. What did I say? Be productive. Is what it means. Mm -hmm. be, be, be productive. Yeah, that's how I, I want to be. I want to be productive. Yes. I have 70. Wow. It says you you have 76 percent. 76 people watched. I don't know who's telling me that. Is that Instagram? I mean, is that um, TikTok? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all who watched today. Thank you for all who joined me and had nothing to say. Thank you for those who were patient for me. 83 people watch. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I give all the glory belongs to God. All the glory belongs to God. What am I doing? I'm just singing the word of God. Hallelujah. That's what I do. That's all I do. Hallelujah. Greetings. Thank you. Hallelujah. 92 people watching. Thank you, Jesus. Yellow is a hat. Dad, God told me to put on a bright color. He told me to get up, put on a bright color, and brighten up the darkness. Yes. It, and so you are confirmation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. 108 people. God is so good. Hallelujah. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, if one soul is encouraged today, if it was only one of you, only two of you, my, my day would be made because that's what God told me to do. He said, get up, 
God told me to get up and brighten up the atmosphere because somebody is con- contemplating suicide. Somebody's head is down. Somebody is worried about bills. Somebody has been given a diagnosis or a prognosis of something of gloom. And he said, get up and brighten up the atmosphere. Lighten up the corner where you are. Hallelujah. Thank you for, I don't think so, but I thank you for that. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. I saw it bother me. Who's in the scrolling so fast that I can't read it? That's the whole problem. Yes, amen, amen. Thank you. So be it, so be it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for the rose. Oh, I'm getting, I'm so, <laughs> you know what? It's like, it's like a whole new lease on my life. I'm telling you. Yes, I think I, you want to know how old I am? Can somebody guess? Take a guess. How how old do you think I am? Yes. How old do you think that I am? Big mama. Big mama. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, thank you. I, no, I ain't 96. Thank God I'm not 96 yet. 83, not yet. 73, yo, thank you, 79, that's good, 90, 83, I am, I'm not, I'm 82, 82 years old, yes, uh, July, I'll be 83, hallelujah, I'm, I'm claiming, I'm claiming my 120, God promised us 120 years, yes, yeah, oh, wow, 75, oh, oh I remember being 75, <laughs> no, I'm 80, 82, that's me, 82. Wow. You somebody said 60? Come on now. Y'all. Hey. I don't look my age. That's because I'm young of heart. I've never, I'll never, I'm like Peter Pan. I'll never grow up. I won't grow up. Hallelujah. I have grandchildren. I have great grandchildren. Yes. I have a beautiful family. I have, I have entrepreneurs in my family. I have teachers. Oh, my daughter is an assistant principal. My my son is a basketball player. He he has a basketball camp. He coached a, that guy Perkins on the in the North Carolina team. He coached him. He played on the uh, St. John's team. Yes, he 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 was. Oh, uh, he's. I have a beautiful life. I have all ethnicities. I have French. I have. I have uh, 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 African, I have Caucasian, I have uh, what, what, Irish, Polish. I'm a walking UN. Hallelujah. I'm just blessed and highly favored. And that's just not a cliche. I am from what day in July? The 28th. July 28th is my birthday. Yes, that's my birthday. It's and every, but every day is my birthday. I celebrate every day as a birthday because something new is being birthed in me every day. Yes. Uh, I, I like my necklace too. I got it from, uh, I think I got it from um, Astro, that, that uh, black company. I don't, I don't really like it. Well, I won't say that. I won't say that. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. All the glory belongs to you. Thank you. I like spending this time just talking to you. I like being able to see you. Hallelujah. I appreciate your appreciation. You guys are always giving me, you're always giving me compliments. (laughs) You're always giving me encouragement. You're always giving me good. Only I only got I got one 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 hater. He says I I shouldn't say the name of Jesus. I shouldn't say his name. But anyway, I don't know. I don't understand that. But I love him anyway. Yeah, grandma. I want to be a good grandma, but I'm far away from my kid, my grandchildren. They live all over the, all over the globe, New York. Atlanta, yeah, and Virginia, Pennsylvania, yeah, thank you, Jesus. 
He's a good God. You are such a blessing. Thank you. Thank you. I, I want to be a blessing. I want to be a blessing. I want to make the devil, I, want, I like to stomp on his head because he ain't nothing but a liar and a deceiver. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, somebody's coming from Florida. I have, I have friends in Florida. I've, actually, I have a Bible study with two of my disciples in Florida. It doesn't matter where you are. You are still. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Good, good night. Good night. Sleep. Have a good night. Sleep. It's for the rest of the night. <laughs> oh my God! This is Sunday. My grandma. Oh, your grandmother passed away at eighty-five. Oh wow. I know you miss her. She, but she's in glory. So hey, we're gonna meet again. God bless you. Yeah, step on the devil's head. I step on his head. I step on those. Yes, I do. Every chance I get, whenever he shows his every his ugly head, whenever he comes at me with negativity, I beat him down, beat him down. Yes, yes. Because we have the power to tread on serpents and scorpions and all of the power of the enemy and nothing by any means can help. You got the power. Yes. You are you have the power. Yes, hallelujah. God, hello, hello. I got some friends in Kenya. Yes, I do. I got friends in Kenya, Ghana, and Nigeria. Yes, I do. Hallelujah. Yes, and, and you I want you guys to pray for our motherland because all the tyranny and all the injustice that's going on in there, that's the richest, richest continent in the world. And they're taking all the riches, all the colonizers are taking the riches and, and they're taking them from the, the natives. We got to pray. We, yes, I got a, a, a son in Pennsylvania. And then we got to pray that the injustice will be turned around and that the sons of Africa will, will bear fruit and be, uh, there's some people over there that's not eating. There are people over there, children are eating dirt. Come on, let's pray. Let's spec. Speed up, pick up our prayer warriors and, 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 and pray for motherland. Pray for the motherland. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you so much. God bless you too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Father. Yes. Yes, it's time. You know, they are so it's time for them to rise up and realize who they are. They're so suppressed and depressed and oppressed. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes, God is good. Kenya. Kenya was was a strong and yes god god you know god is not sleeping he sees the injustice that's going on yeah we should pray for zambia all of africa 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 is a that's where civilization began come on they even took part of africa made in egypt egypt took, took made part you know egypt egypt is africa how could joseph you know <laughs> Survive in Africa if he if he in in Egypt if he wasn't black like they were, yes God is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, somebody is speaking Swahili, and I don't know it. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Oh yes, yes, God smiled. Thank you, thank you for the rose. Hallelujah. Thank you for the rose. Glory to God. Yes, civilization began. Israel, don't you know Israel is what? Civilization began. began. Israel, Egypt, Africa, all of them guys. Come on, it was separated. Even when they remade the map and remade the globe. Listen, there's so much deception going on. Y'all don't even know. You got to read your history. You got to come up. Come up to, to, the, to the level where God wants you to be. Know who you are and whose you are. You know, we make a big deal because somebody call us 
you know, that N word, the, the, the N word is indicative of the Nigerian, you know, the Ni Niger River, Niger River, because we were, were around the Niger River. We were, we were called by almost that same name. We have so much to learn. Read your history. Come on. Thank you. It's okay. I don't claim to know anything about history. And, 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 and anything you say cannot <laughs> discourage me. Uh-huh. Don't tell me. What, you don't know what I know. And, and what you don't know will make a whole new world. <laughs> Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. You know, you know, you have people that are always looking on the downside of stuff, all want to criticize. You know what? What I say about people who criticize you and make fun of you and, and all of that stuff, that's because they want to keep keep their attention off themselves. Mm hmm They have low self esteem and they don't know. They so, oh, don't even have to worry about it. I ain't worried about it. Uh, you don't even go there. What you want to call him, that's what his name is. What you want to call him. What he is to you. He's a healer. He's a deliverer. Don't even get me up in that trick bag. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm not gorgeous, but I'll take that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I, mm -hmm. You know what? Yeah, we know. Yeah, we know. We know. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know. You know what? <laughs> the only thing that matters is, is your soul gonna be saved when all this is down here. When all this is over, all this temporary stuff is over. All this partial knowledge that you have is over. When you stand before the judge, when you stand before the judge, and he says, "Give an account of your time that you spent on this earth." That's the only thing that's going to matter. It's not going to matter what you know. It's not going to matter about your history. It's not going to matter about your knowledge. Do you know the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. How do you know church? Church, I'm the church. You're the church. <laughs> Woo! Yes, 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 yes. Everybody want to get into their knowledge and what they know and what you... That doesn't matter. I know an omniscient God. Omniscient, you know the word omniscient, omniscience. He knows everything. So I don't have to know because he knows for me. Okay. So I'm not intimidated by your telling me what I don't know. Mm-mm, I'm not. Mm-hmm. Thank you. F from Lisa in Dubai. Dubai. Is that? No, that's not Dubai. D-U-B-U. -D I don't even know what that is. That's how much I know. <laughs> I don't claim to know. I don't have to know because I got a God who knows. He knows everything. He knows from the beginning to the end. He is Alpha and He is Omega. Yes, I know that ain't even, that's not even Hebrew. That's not even the Jewish language, but I also know what it means. Hey, you know what? When we speak out of our mouths, when we speak out of our, God, He's not listening to what comes out of our mouths, He's listening to what comes out of our hearts. And so when you ridicule me and tell me what I don't know and how ignorant I am, that doesn't bother me. <laughs> Flint, Michigan is in the house. Yes. Yes, I've never been to Michigan. I've, there's so many places I've never been. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're amazing. You're amazing too, Rochelle. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Uh, see, my heart, God knows my heart. If what it comes out of my mouth, it has to pass through my heart. 
Mm-hmm. Murphy's Park? Where the heck? Murphy's Murphy's Borough? I never heard of that. Africa is beautiful, bless. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I made somebody laugh. That's a good thing. I, I like to make people laugh. I, I'm not. I, I am not opposed to being laughed at. I laughed at. I laugh at myself more than anybody laughs at me. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I I, I pray that God lets me speak with wisdom. Tennessee is in the house. Tennessee is in the house. Hey, S H A N D. Hmm. Come to Islam. Yeah, God loves Islam. God loves all of us. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So get out of that hurt. L the star, get out of that hurt. What's in the past is in the past. The devil, the devil is using the things that were done to us to keep us angry, and anger eats away at you. So it's it's the, we we're not getting over. It. We can't get over it, but we have to ask God to heal us from that. We have to be healed from the hatred. We have to be healed from the hurt. We have to be healed from those things because it keeps it gives the enemy uh, ammunition to buffet us and make us. It's okay. That doesn't hurt me. And somebody being disrespectful, I pray for them. Because I know underneath all of that, they're hurting too. They're angry. There's unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's so much that they, you know, a lot of, a lot of diseases come from Unforgiveness. Okay, let me see what's that. Yeah, that's all right. I have a bad spirit. <laughs> I know who I am. Nothing you can say that can hurt me. I have a bad spirit. Mm -hmm. I have the spirit of God. You call that a bad spirit. Hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Go ahead. If you search your Bible, if you know your Bible, you know there were many women in the Bible who were over men. They were prophetess. Uh, Deborah was one. Yeah. I can't be intimidated. I know who I am and what I am. Yeah. North Georgia. Where is that? Is that in the U.S.? I know there's a Georgia in the... Uh, yes, yes, yes. So all these angry people, all these hurting people, that's why I'm on here. Yeah. Yeah, I want to go back to Africa. I, 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 I do. I know that they're telling us lies about Africa. But I, what I don't understand is how some people are so well off in Africa and the rest of them are starving and hungry. Why is that disproportion there? I don't understand that. Mm. Yeah, I know. So to to my to all of you who um are coming against me in any way, that's okay. The love of God 
has shed abroad is shed abroad in my heart. And I will be praying for you and telling God to heal you of your anger, to heal you of your resentment, to heal you of your bitterness. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, I decree and declare right now that the, the bitterness and the hatred that wells itself up in the hearts of other people, of these people, oh God, I thank you. I thank you for those who have given that shown their love and appreciation, Lord. I ask you to strengthen me in my inner man that I may be able to continue because I knew when I was coming on this TikTok, it was not going to be easy. I knew that, oh God. And so I give you praise and I give you honor for you alone, oh God, are worthy of the praise. You alone are worthy of the honor, Jesus. I know that whatever you have brought me to, you're going to bring me through in the name of Jesus. So I say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. So I just want to say good night. Good night to everybody. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to override anybody, but I have to go. Good night. And I don't know when I'll be back, but I'll be back. This live is over.